Okay, lead engine 10 watt, green, 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 green. Running in a full power type setup over here in a CFV6. Um, with a 7.4 volt battery setup. And over here we have the uh, um, the green, green, white tri rebel running the two greens in series. And let's start that one up first. And now the lead engine. Tri Rebel Green, Green White over here is running on a uh, CFB5 with a 7.4 volt lithium ion battery setup as well. As you can see, the uh, that engine is uh, definitely brighter on the new CF6, running uh, all four of the dies at once. Uh, they're both are powered at one amp, so the only way to get the uh, Tri Rebel to be as bright with the two Rebels to compete with the four dies on the uh, lead engine would be to uh, overdrive that quite a bit. Um, advantage you get using the CF5 with the, the, the tri rebel with the white is the, uh, the white FOC, um, or clash flash, whatever you want to call it. Over here, the CF6, with it being a solid color LED, there's really no change. Uh, it's kind of, it's a little bit brighter and shimmers a bit. You see here, Brass Saber 27 is newly finished right off the bench. Uh, so I have to do finished pictures in the review video of that. Um, it doesn't have its font selection set up yet right now. Uh, it's got the basics. And I've only been playing with the rice on the one the one font here, Nova Star. So, so there it is. It's, it's the loudest thing I've ever built. Um, we'll do a review video on that one shortly though. But uh, as you can see there, your lead engine 10 watt is uh, pretty much the king of the hill as far as greens go. I'm going to bet probably blue is the same thing. Next one, we'll check the uh, check the brightness of the lead engine 10 watt against the old King of the Hill there, uh, the uh, Luxion V. So stay tuned for that one. And uh, as always, thanks for watching.